Sitting around the ballroom, they're talking about tomorrow when they're taking Johnny away. Said he wasn't no good, never done the things that he should. That's all the judge had to say. He went in the army when he was 18. Crazy young Irish and me. Took a kid who was half gone all the way to be wrong with bloodlust and them 16s. His father, he thanks us for. All right, we're back. Brendan. Danny. I feel like it's only been one day later. Yeah, I feel like I haven't seen you in. A I know. Do- a it feels weird age. when we don't do it on a Sunday. Yeah, for sure. And we don't apologize for that because you still got to go on vacation and do your own shit. Yeah, exactly. I mean, we we could have done it last night. Technically, I got home at seven, but like, I didn't know if I was definitely gonna make it on <laughs> time. That. And no, you gotta you um, gotta uh, you gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah, I needed a day to to get back. Uh, I told you before this, but my sleep got all fucked up. I woke up this morning at three in the morning and was up like with no like just got fucked up from the flights or whatever and. My youngest daughter wasn't feeling good, so she slept with Maggie. So I'm like, I slept on the couch. Yeah. Fucking back's been killing me anyways. Um, so my one of my best friends in the world, Jim O'Malley over in Ireland, I was like, dude, I'm sorry. I'm a fucking mess today at work. I'm like, I got, I'm getting nothing done. He goes, here's what I'm giving you for tonight. He's like, four drinks, all right? Three Advil and a melatonin. He's like, and fucking don't go to bed until 1130. And I'm like, this, now I've known this kid, lived in the college, yeah, lives with him in Southie afterwards, so he knows what I need. But as a doctor, I always say like take a little bit extra. So I'll probably go six drinks, <laughs> eleven thirty, melatonin. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like that's kind of my game plan. Uh, it was fucking. How was your weekend? First of all, uh, honestly, dude, low key as could be, dude. I don't even know who I am anymore. I've had way too many low key weekends. You getting old? Yeah, I get it, but like. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, we had like a little fucking, and you have a one year old, pretty much. Yeah, but yeah. I, I mean, it was just, but I'm like fine with it. Which yeah, is, it, it's not me at all, dude. You know what? Every once in a while, you gotta fucking throw a. You gotta well, throw. Well, put, put it this way: I know what the next two weekends will exactly. entail. Yeah. So like, I was cool with it. Yeah. Like I, I did. Like the weekend before was like the Black Friday shit, and yep. I had to compromise. And then this weekend, dude, I, I was pretty much sick. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Yeah, you told me that. And uh, so I kind of just, like, hanged loose. Yeah. You know what I mean? Little See, I fucking... already planned, like, I think Maggie's going somewhere over her birthday weekend with a friend. Yeah. So, like, a couple of years ago, I took January off from drinking, and I think I'm gonna, I'm doing it this year again. So I know I'm going for a reset in January. Yep. I got nothing on the books, and I, I love that feeling afterwards. So Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What's that? So the whole month of January, we're not drinking? No, well, you, you're going to drink. No, no, no. I know that. But yeah. this was your idea. You were going to meet me at Kowloon for a soccer spring. Oh, no, no, no. That day January doesn't count. January 1st? January 1st doesn't count. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I mean, no, I'm not fucking not drinking on New Year's Day. Okay. Come Just on. wanted to make sure. And even the last time I did it, I drank New Year's Day all okay. day long. So all that right. was the day. That's still 30 days. Oh, yeah. I, I went for like 45 last time. But I'll go. I'm going for 30. All going right, for 30. Um, anyways. So you didn't do shit. Nothing. Just being a dad. Uh did a did a bunch of uh basketball shit. We I, I really didn't do it. I, I we went to my union's Christmas party on Saturday. Nice. Um Where was that? Great time. At the Union Hall. Great time. Great time. As always. They put out a great fucking spread. Um seen a whole bunch of people. And I started a new listen. New show? Not a new show. A new uh new job site today. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. Today's Monday. So like Obviously, we usually do this on Sunday, but um, the last month, no fault of anybody's. I was in the worst job site I've been in ever. Yeah, People's Republic, right? Ever in Cambridge, but it Cambridge. I mean, I'm still in Cambridge now, yeah. but just like this particular job site, I didn't see anyone smile for a month, and that's <laughs> so like. And it's weird because, like, Paul Doobie listens religiously. Yep. He tells me every day, like, how you doing today? And he's, like, the only one that gives a fuck about my life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How you doing today? And I'm, like, still haven't smiled, dude. Still haven't <laughs> smiled. And then I find out, like, I'm going to this new job site. And I was, like, all right, still in Cambridge. No big deal. Started today. Saw a whole bunch of people that, like, I haven't seen in forever. Nice. Instant smiles before the fucking sun came up. Yep. Um, it was awesome. Today, today was a good day. Today was a good Monday. That doesn't happen often. Yeah. Mondays suck, dude. Mondays do suck. Mondays do suck. Mondays do suck. Um, 
And so I, I, I got no complaints, dude. It's, it's, it was a very quiet weekend for me. Yeah. Uh, I think I had one high noon all weekend. Wow. I bought a four, I bought a four pack. <laughs> Three of them are still in my fridge. You're like one of those guys like that yeah. we hate. Yeah. I, I did not. Uh, I, I didn't, have one. Yeah. I, I didn't like, I didn't get wild. Yeah. And I was, I was like happy with the result. Um, you I on the, the you on the I other the hand, opposite. the opposite. So yeah. I'll. I mean, we have a, we have a whole episode to talk we about. Have, we got to talk about Nashville, my but, favorite place in the world. But did I not give you the heads up that this is going to be your favorite place in the world? You did, and I. So I I talked about this with Maggie. Like the whole time leading up to Nashville, I never let myself get excited about. It. The reason I didn't let myself get is because I have fucking kids. Yeah, and I have shit that goes wrong in my life all the time. So I'm thinking like there's a. Twenty eight percent chance that I'm you not going to go. You said like fourteen days in advance. No, I, I'm exaggerating, but I want to say like ten. Yeah, you're like Maggie's looking at the weather. Yeah, dude, it's we might not go. And I I'm just like, was like, don't even fun? worry about it. And, I'm like, and like yeah. I looked at, I was like, are we talking about rain? Yeah, like it was because I haven't heard anything. Normally, you know, around here, you there's hear some fu- fucking thing. There's a happening. fucking storm, I brewing, <laughs> and it's like it never happened. So we got down there on Thursday morning, Thursday after mid afternoon. Got right into our hotel room. Hotel was great. Um, right down by like where the Country Music Hall of Fame is and everything. Mm-hmm. So. Where'd you stay? The Cambria. That's right. Is that where you stayed? <laughs> right at the top of the hill. Yeah, with the Nashville yeah, downstairs. Dude. Of course. Great minds think alike, kid. Place is great. Dude. It's awesome. Great fucking spot. Yeah, it's fucking great, right? Yeah. Look at that. Hell Isn't yeah. that crazy? And, and I told you where to go for a steakhouse. Did you go? No, but I'm going to tell you. you I'm going to give you the whole thing. I'm gonna get, you're going to get it all. Trust me. <sighs> Buckle up. So mad. Um, so we get there the first day. <laughs> We're kind of like, you know, we go back to the room. She wanted to take a nap. We're laying around kind of. I'm like, all right, let's 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 motivate here. Let's do something. Today's a drinking day. Yep. I'm not, I'm, we're partying today. Right. Today's not like, I don't want to see anything other than the fuck inside of a bar room. Yep. So we like go down to Broadway, hit a couple like bars. We're just like, we'll have one. We'll move around. Go to Kid Rock's place. Band fucking guy who play, was playing keyboard, I guess, plays for Poison. He's like keep poisons. He's like a session musician, like yeah. most of these guys are. Um, the girl that was singing with this band is don't gonna tell me be. Was, don't tell me it was the girl from Burlington. No, 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 no. All but right. this girl is gonna be on. She's from Jersey. She's gonna be on uh, American Idol next episode, oh, uh, next shit. like season, right? So they were and they were playing all Maggie's favorite shit, my favorite shit too. But like they're playing, you know, Welcome to the Jungle, a fucking sweet child of mine, yeah. Bon Jovi, right? So we meet this other couple guys from whatever. It's fine. They were okay. Uh, they were kind of cocked. And then we meet another crew of people, and they almost fight each other. Hell yeah. So, and I'm like, Maggie's in the middle of it. Go. I was taking a piss. But I was kind of done with this first guy, because I was like, if this is you at 5.30 or 6, I don't need you in my life at fucking 9, yeah. when it gets when she gets real, yeah. right? And so anyway, so this other crew that was there, this, these three guys and these their girls, they were like, you want to come with us? Because I'm like, we don't even know that fucking guy. I'm like, hey, I'm sorry. I mean, I walk over. I'm like, that's not our boy. Or, uh, not, we just met that guy. Right. They're like, oh, I thought you were with him. They're like, do you want to just come with us? So we end up partying with these guys all night. Go to another bar. Then we went to um, to a karaoke bar. Right? Hell yeah. So I'm like, all right, I'm going to fucking light these people up. The fuck up. Right? The kid that we're with who's like, this kid Chris, he's like six foot three. Fucking looks like he played linebacker somewhere. Can sing like Vince, Fiel- Vince Gill. Like, I mean, he's a way, like, he can sing any country song. Money. Like, like, I have a decent voice, but, like, I'm more like a songwriter person. Like, I don't get by because I have a beautiful fucking American Idol voice, yep. right? I, I have a fucking man's voice, okay? Right. Uh, anyways, we had a blast. I sang some tunes. He sang some tunes. Pats were on, getting murdered. By that point, dude, we had drank, I had to have drank a case of beer already. Uh, what do they call it in fucking case in point or whatever? I went to the Pats game. Oh, really? I forgot about that part. Yeah. Well, it wasn't a highlight <laughs> of your life then. Uh, yeah, no, it wasn't. It sucked. It was uh, very cold. Ugh. Uh, I will say I had a fantastic time. Dudes I was with, my boy, my buddy Glenn's birthday. Glenn with one end. Yep. It was his birthday. My guy. Uh, Bills fans, they, they- Showed out. They showed out. Dude, there were Bills fans walking on the plane to Nashville. Like, all Dude, draped in gear. Maggie's they, like, is the game in? Listen, I'm they, like, no, they're just psychos. They were, they were probably 30% of Gillette. They came. Yeah, indeed. Dripped out. Uh, not one issue that I seen. Yeah. You know, they, I mean. I think Bills and Pats fans kind of get each other, though. It's not like. I had this conversation 
today with somebody, and they were like, where were these Bills fans when they suck? And I was like, they were still there, dude. Yeah, they were there. They were there. Yeah. They have nothing else. Everybody I they know who's a Bills fan. And they have the Buffalo Bills. Yeah, everybody I know who's a Bills fan is a hardcore, like, win or lose Bills fan. Yeah. Like, and uh, I didn't see anyone go through a table, unfortunately. <laughs> but I know it happened. Yeah. Uh, what I did see, and um, this is actually fucking cooler than any Bills fan, they were from New Zealand. Yeah. What, like, white kids. Like, I, when I say this, right, and this is going to all make sense. So when I saw these kids get in front of us because they were just trying to get better seats. Because we had pretty good seats. We were in the end zone right where the, for our first touchdown was. Yep. 20 rows up. We were right right there. It was fucking dope. But uh, once we started to lose and it started to get a little cold, people dispersed because they're fucking frauds. Sure. Frauds, 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 right? Yep, of course. Stay the whole time. You're going to sit in traffic anyway, Right. But these kids came down, started talking to them. Where are you from? Thinking that, like, because we didn't see Pat's gear, and I'm like, yep. they're wearing the right gear. Like, oh, we're from New Zealand. I go, no, the fuck you're not. <laughs> so when I think of somebody from New Zealand, I automatically think soccer. Yeah. Right? Or well, rugby. It's big there. Right. Yeah. And, and the same exact thing is what I'm about to talk about. You ever see a New Zealand team, the All Blacks, mm -hmm. do the haka? Yep. First thing I asked this kid, this kid is whiter than me and you combined. <laughs> and I was like, do you know what a hawker is? He was like, do you want to do a hawker? And I was like, do, do I want to do it? I can't do a hawker. I was like, but you could do a hawker for me and I can pretend to like shadow yeah. you. Yeah. And he fucking did it for me. Dude. Really? Dude, it That's was like, sick. it was sick. This kid was 110 pounds soaking wet, <laughs> but he had like a triple fat goose on. He had every, he was never fucking seen snow in his life. Yeah. Yeah. And he was like, I'll do it. And he looked right at the camera. I got it on camera. And he did the whole fucking, it, dude, I get chills right now. I was ready to go to war for this kid. <laughs> Found him on Instagram. His name is Lucas. Dude, Lucas something. But I'll find him. But I told him all about this podcast. I hope he's listening. Dude, he was the man. Nice. Yeah. Dude, my buddy. Totally forgot about that. I'm Maggie's sorry. Maggie's best friend's husband who's a bartender and uh, or uh, owns a restaurant down in uh, Hilton Head. Sean, mm -hmm. my guy. South African. White South African guy. Um, he, Steve Nash, dude. Yeah. He, my, so he's lived in South Carolina yep. and South Africa. That's where he's lived. My buddy Downey Hates took the him, North. took him to, no, he likes it, but took him to you a. missed that completely, huh? Oh, South Africa. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It, I, it's this, I'm still coming out of the haze. So good. Anyways, he, um, took him to a pass game, like a playoff game in like yep. December, January. And he was like, Sean was like, uh, Jeff's like, it's fucking freezing, huh? And he looks at him and he goes, this is the coldest I've ever been in my life. And he's like, yeah, it's cold. And he's like, no, 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 no. You're not hearing me. He's like, I've never been this cold ever in my life since I've been born. Like, <laughs> this is the coldest weather I've ever been in outside for an extended period of time. He has no idea how, like, what it feels like to have loose limbs, dude. No, no. So anyways, <laughs> we wrap it up at the karaoke bar. And um, the, uh, by the way, I, I, you probably didn't see the Instagram yet because I just did it for you out here. Yep. I, I did say I'm bringing the guitar off the wall tonight uh, for oh, no, a special I... performance. Yep. Um. Guy totally forgot I was said I was going to do this. So the reason is that me and Maggie go to, we're like going home. We, we had not eaten since a fucking bagel at before we got on the connecting flight, like 10 in the morning. So now it's like 10 at night. And we're, we've, and I started feeling like, dude, I got to eat something. Like I'm sure. fucked here. And so uh, we went to Hattie B's for the hot chicken, right? Um, they got nothing on Lily P's. Let me just say that right now. Yeah. The fine chickens. I would have eaten your fucking shoe with hot sauce on it, right? <laughs> I woke up at 4.30 in the morning with a stomach situation that I wouldn't wish on my worst enemy. So here's my thing. So we do, again, there's a zillion hotels in Nashville. Yep, we happen to stay in the same one. Same one. Yep. Right downstairs at that bar, we've talked about this on this podcast. The Nash House. With the fucking, the, um, the Bloody Mary bar. Yeah. That was like $5. Yeah. All you can drink. Yep. They have an incredible Nashville chicken sandwich. Maggie had it. How good was it? Have. She said it was fucking excellent. Of course it was, yeah. dude. She had it twice. Yeah. I had the burger was great, too. I had the burger twice. Dude, they're, they're, that shit was fire. So. And we got there wicked early, and they let us put that shit in there. Like, they were mad cool there. So Maggie's Southern like. Southern um, hospitality's real. So Maggie's like, uh, like, she's dead to the world. It's like 4.30 in the morning. I'm up and down, up and down. Fucking, there's got to be some habanero in there, because habanero is what turns my stomach into a fucking knot, right? Oh, really? Yeah, just for some reason, it's like, and the older the get, I get, the more of a pussy I am, right? I mean, I'm still going to eat it, by the way. I'm never going to say no to it. Yeah. I'm just going to deal with the pain, yeah. right? So uh, maybe it's Maggie's the oil. like... Maybe it's the oil. So, 
It might be. So we're going down. Well, it was very burning. Let's just put that way. So to the point. So we're walking down. We went to the Country Music Hall of Fame the next afternoon. And I'm like, do you want to go to the Johnny Cash Museum, too? And she's like, why? So you can you can look up. You can, you can have a full effect of your ring of fire that you've had on your asshole all night. And uh, so we just have the drunk. So we're dying laughing. So I'm like, uh, all right. I'm like, you know what? I'm like, when I get when I get back, right? Oh, oh shit. By the way, I hate to... By the way... My man's about to do a song right now. Insulation situation at gmail.com. Sean, let me just tell you one thing. I've heard your Johnny Cash. It's pretty good. All right, you ready? Holy shit. I don't know. A chicken is a burning thing. My asshole is a burning ring. Grown man, now a crier. My asshole is a ring of fire. Well, I screamed out in a burning ring of fire. I wiped, 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 but the flames rose higher. And it burns, burns, burns. Ring of fire, ring of fire. It's a feeling that a man can get when his guts are a fucking mess. <laughs> when the runs are like burning tires. Your asshole is a ring of fire. Well, I screamed out in a burning ring of fire. I wiped, 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 and the flames grows higher. And it burns, burns, burns. Ring of fire, ring of fire. Holy fuck, dude. Are you shit? Hey, that's my co host, baby. <laughs> So I'm like, I told Maggie, I'm like, I'm going to write. Hey, he just crypt walked all over this fucking podcast right there. <laughs> I'm like, I'm going to write it, but I forgot about it until 20 minutes before you came here. So I'm like, all right, I got to figure out the words and do it. So That was unbelievable. Yeah, we got it. So Sean, you got some competition. If I get to that mic first on December 17th Holy for karaoke shit. night, you might, I might bury you. Uh, but Sean's very good too. Anyways, so that brings us to where we're at now. Next day, country music Wait a minute, you can't just fucking just go right into <laughs> You just made a whole song about diarrhea, dude. Yeah, that's great. Dude, when I was in college, like, that used to be my, like, I would just make up songs about my friends. No, but, like, just... so, like, br- my son, Brendan, is, yeah. like, go. he's, like, do you know the diarrhea song? And I'm, like, yeah, when you're going up a <laughs> yeah. ladder and you feel something splat of diarrhea. Like, he, he, did, he was, like, he thought that was the funniest thing ever. And I was, like, you can do that with anything that rhymes. Yeah, yeah. So, like, so if you learn, I will give one tip out there to the younger generation that might think about learning guitar. The other added benefit besides getting some fucking ass once in a while <laughs> is being able to rip your buddies and they can never do a comeback because they don't know how to play guitar. Right. Stuff. So I used to do it to my buddies all the time. That was my fucking hobby. They'd be like, sing that song about Paul. And i just fucking rip him apart. Dude, I, like, I've seen you play guitar before, but like I don't know why. That just like, I just went from six Up to midnight, Up close to dude. fucking live, baby. Up close and live. Hell yeah. So, Brendan Ahern, dude, we try to tell you. We try to tell you. And he just made you guys go, what the f- Did he just talk about fucking bowel movements? <laughs> yeah, he did. Uh, Hell anyways, yeah. Good for I you, kid. A, I had a fucking hangover, like you can imagine, mm-hmm. and other things. So we went to the Country Music Hall of Fame, which was like my fucking mecca. Mm-hmm. I was you were very in hungover. Awe. You were in awe. But I was in awe. I was like, I, did, I, I didn't send you the picture. I have a picture for you of the guitar that... that um, that Justin played on with uh, Stapleton on uh, on oh, that. Yeah, yeah, no, you didn't send that. No, I Thanks. have that. I That's have great. that. Um, it was an unbelievable day. Unbelievable day. And so, all right. So here's. So this is actually the be- probably one of the better stories of the trip. So that day, we were supposed to do one more tour, but Maggie's like, "I'm not really feeling that great." I'm like, "You know what? I could pound that tour. I saw everything I need to see." Um, how was how was like the tour itself though? Tour, we, we didn't go on the tour. We did our own tour oh, of the museum. Right. Okay. I'm not a. I don't need you to hold my hand and fucking tell me what everything is. You know what I mean? Plus, in in fairness to anybody else that would go, which I would say like it probably is well worth it. I'm such a fucking music nerd. I knew everything that was in there, uh, uh, most shit. Right. And I knew like where it was pretty much. You know what I mean? Like so, I already had a big familiarity with it. Right. Um, but it was fucking absolutely awesome. So we got we went there. And then she's like, I gotta go. Now, this is a guitar store that is the guitar store of guitar stores. Carter Vintage Guitars, right? It's like the mecca for guitar players, sure. right? They have they have a room where there's not a guitar on the wall. It's less than 25 grand. That's a fact. Oh. They 
Sure they will enough, let you play. Sure enough, Brennan. Yeah, that's right. We'll get all. <laughs> they will let you play. They the thing that everybody loves about it is, is like the guy who owns it's always said like I made this place so people can play guitars. No pushy salesman. Like pick anything you want off the wall. Like other than like you got to talk to a guy if you want to play a hundred thousand dollar guitar. Right. Obviously, probably got to show him your credit report. Um, so, anyways, I see on the fucking <laughs> map. I'm like this place. I go up to the room of the mags. I go this place is a half mile down the street. And she's like, all right. She's like, you're going to walk and take an Uber? I'm like, feel like dumb taking an Uber. It's fucking like from my house to the park up the street, right? Yeah. So I fall down, I take a right, and I'm on the street, and all of a sudden I'm like, we're not in Kansas anymore. A little dicey, yeah. right? Very empty. Um, but I can see on my fucking navigation that I'm like literally like 100 yards from the place. Yeah. So I go like, so I see over the other side of the street, there's a bunch of homeless people like kind of sitting there. I think... It's probably like a soup kitchen they're waiting to go get open or whatever. Yep. It's like probably 10 guys over there, right? But I'm like, all right, I'm moving, right? Waiting for Dirty Mike and the boys? Exactly. So I get <laughs> underneath the bridge, boom, I see it, right? And I see a beautiful boot store on the left and a, and a, and a restaurant. So I'm like, all right, whatever. Go in there. Came very close to buying a fucking nice guitar, but like thought better of it. Um, I'll wait till somebody gives us a contract for this podcast. So I get out of there, buy a hat, a couple other things, and now I'm walking back. And as I'm walking back, now there's about 30 fucking homeless people. Now, I'm not talking about Boston homeless people. I'm talking about Nashville fucking homeless people on a very desolate street. <laughs> and one guy who's about 100 yards in front of me at the time, skinny black guy, probably five foot seven, with a shopping cart. Like a, like one of the things you grab instead of grabbing a carriage. It's Marcus, dude. Filled you know with Marcus? shit. <laughs> yeah. Filled with shit. Come, he's staring at me, dude, and he's, like, crossing the street. Now he's standing in front of me, and, like, it's a tight sidewalk. And I'm like, all right. I got my phone kind of out, like, because I'm thinking if I got to hit this guy, I need a phone in my hand. So he starts looking at me, and he's p- p- picking up coffee cups that were on this, like, ledge. He's just throwing them into the street, just staring at me. And I'm like, this is not great. This is, I'm not in a great situation. He's got 30 other bums on the other side of the street. Right? And there's that's fucking... Have, that's when you have to have legs, dude. Snow White. I have no legs, right? No, you're going to be a Tyree Kill, dude. Listen. You're going to be Tyree Kill. So I get by dodge. him. So get I get by dodge. him, right? And now he starts walking behind me. He's about four feet from me. Yeah. And I'm like... I'm like... It, I'm fucking nervous, dude. I am in no man's land. I got nobody. Oh, yeah. And I'm like, if I got to fucking... I got to... Uh, all I'm thinking about is if I turn... Because I had boots on, I'm like, I'm going to have to try to, like, fucking boot kick this guy in the fucking mug. Yeah. Right? And it, and as we got going, I'm like, finally he like puts his shit back down again, and I like escape off into my lily white land of thy living, right? <laughs> but I got me thinking about something, cause like wherever I go now, I think about shit like that will be good to talk about on the show. Yeah. Nothing better than almost getting the shit kicked out of you by a bomb killed. Right. Mike, he's like, if you go, if you died that way, I've been pretty disappointed. Right. Like, what would your obituary was- say? Uh, died unexpectedly? Yeah, died unexpectedly even a sick guitar store. Like, not the worst. <laughs> but I'll tell you what. I thought about this, and I'm like, you know what? The thing about fi- I never thought about fighting a bum until this happened. Because I'm like, I think I'm going to have to turn around and fight this guy. Yeah. And then I knew that I was close enough that I could run. And I'll tell you right now, I am slow. In those conditions, I'll be a fucking, I'll be a fucking Gazelle. jet. Yeah. But I was thinking, I'm like, if there's one guy you don't want to fight, it's a bum. Because you know how they're like, well... Most dangerous man's got nothing to lose. This guy literally has nothing to lose. Like, he has nothing to lose. Like, the only thing he has to lose is that he's just still going to be a bum. Or he stabs me and he gets three squares a day for, like, the next, like, five years. Right? And that's all he wanted. Yeah, exactly. Probably. And I was like, I was, dude, it was, like, I haven't been in a situation like that in a long-ass time. Like, a fight or flight. Like, dude, I was just, I'll just say this. If you're going to go to Carter's Vintage Guitar Store and you're staying at the Cambria... Take either one of those fucking line bike scooters, scooters yeah. or get in a fucking Uber. Because I uh, you don't know, there's a little section of that gulch where there's some guys just waiting for people like me to come through. Uh did I ever tell you about the the bum in Malden, not Nashville anywhere fucking crazy. But I was working, uh, I had to be at work at like four o'clock in the morning. And I'm going through like a side street, regular side street that I went through every single day. And a dude came up to me with a needle to my neck. Shut the fuck up. Swear to God. Right hand of God. That will change your life drastically. Yes. Gun, knife. I, I'm like. Whatever. No, I'm like, how can I avoid this? Yeah. yeah. You're still probably going to give whatever. I, when, a, when a dude's going to needle to your neck, game's off, dude. Take whatever you want. Yeah. 
So I had just happened to have money in my pocket because I had to pay my cell phone. This is years ago. Yeah, yeah. I had just enough money to pay my cell phone bill. So I think it was like 270 bucks. Might have been a month behind, guys. Leave me alone. <laughs> All right? I think I had $270 in my pocket. It was like 240 It was definitely over 200 bucks. He took that. Right? Bang. There you go. So I go to, I go to my, uh, my boss at the time, and I'm like, uh, he's like, why are you late? I hated this guy. <laughs> so, like, normally I'd be like, shut the fuck up. Yeah. So I went to him and I was like, can I talk to you in the office real quick? And he goes, uh, what's up? And I go, hey, I just got robbed by Needlepoint. That's how I started my yeah. conversation. And the dude's whole change, his whole shit changed. Yeah. He goes, what do you mean Needlepoint? I go, well, it wasn't Gunpoint. It wasn't Knifepoint. Follow the bouncing ball here. Yeah. Guy put a fucking hypodermic needle to my fucking neck. Oh. And he goes, uh. Did you call the cops? And I go, not yet. I go, but I'd like to, like, get something out of this. Sure. So, like, the street I was on, it was a regular street. There was no cameras, nothing like that. I have no idea if the guy was ever caught. But I had to report it because I was fucking late. And the guy, and I was like, yeah, like, I yeah. got robbed, dude. Let me tell you something. There is nothing more humbling. Like I said. Yeah. Gun, knife. When a dude comes behind you with a needle to your neck, all bets are off. Yep. All bets are off. Because here's the other thing about that. A dude, knife, you probably have a better chance dude, of getting away it, without him it getting could, it in you. The, the guy could have been a fucking doctor yeah. behind me. I have no I have no idea what he looks like sure. to this day. To this right, day, you I have no see idea. Him. Never seen him. Never seen him. He saw me walk down the street. Dude put a, ne a needle to my neck. Guess what? You could take whatever Where in my pocket. Where am I, you? Uh, right by the Y. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's where I was. Yeah. There's, a, there's a little side street. And that's where I was. Yeah. I can tell you I can tell you what I was wearing. Sure. And it was the worst fucking experience Jesus, my entire dude. life. Dude, yeah. it does. It fucks with your head. Yeah. You know what I mean? But I, I walked. Like, that happened. He ran off. I don't know what he looks like. He was definitely a white dude. He had a red shirt on. And I was like, yeah, he's definitely going to get high. Yeah, right? of course. And uh, whatever. But he fucking. I go to my. Like, I walk. I didn't run to my job. I was like, what the fuck just happened? Walked to my job, it was already late, and he goes, uh, why are you late? And I was like, yeah, I need to talk to you in the office real quick. Because, like, we already hate each other. Sure. Gave him that whole explanation, and he was, like, so sentimental at that point. I was like, yeah, you're fake as fuck. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, where yeah. the fuck are you yesterday when I was normally yeah. on time? <laughs> yeah. You know? But, uh, yeah, dude, the cops came. They're like, what does he look like? I was like, I don't know, dude. I didn't turn around because if I moved my neck... Yeah, I don't know. might have got a fucking needle. Might in have it. got some AIDS. Yeah, and I don't have fucking Magic Johnson money to get rid of that <laughs> shit. So, but it was uh, we laugh about it now, but it was the scariest moment of my oh, life. Oh, dude, I was fucking shitting my pants the other yeah, day. Yeah, because dude, especially when you're also here's the other thing, like you, you aren't in. If I if this happened to me in Boston, like I'd feel slightly more like. You're not home. I'm not home. I'm I'm not anywhere I know. There was a like, comedian that talked about it, dude. Like, what would you rather have? Like a dude from Brooklyn saying, Give me all your fucking money. Yeah. Or would you rather have a guy from the cell saying, Hey there, come yeah, yeah. You, yeah. And you don't even know what the fuck to yeah, do. Yeah, exactly. You don't know what to do. Uh anyways, bottom line is I got out on skates. And at least we were the best night we had. So I get back, I'm like, I got adrenaline. I Forget it, I don't need a nap now, dude. I, I fucking, I feel like I just did like an eight ball. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I'm fucking flying. So Maggie's like, what do you want to do for dinner? It was like, kind of like around 4.30, 4.45. Oh. And I like, text, my buddy had texted me who owns Fire Cornell, Jason McCann. <laughs> was like, hey, my buddy owns uh, this restaurant, Church and Union. But he's like, but the only time they had a reservation was 5.20, something like that. So Maggie's like, fuck it, let's get ready, let's go. So we walk over to this place. It was like a, it was kind of like, you know where that area is, but it was down off Broadway, up like by the Ryman kind of area. Unbelievable fucking meal, first of all. If you're going to Nashville and you're looking for like a nice restaurant. So that was the thing is Oak is on the corner right where that guy almost fucking took so me to fucking didn't... task. All right. So now, now you know it even more. Where we were at Cambria. Yep. And Oak. Yep. 100% walking distance. Yes. We all took an, we all called Ubers. Yeah. Because and it gets fucking dicey. No, no, no. The Uber was like, buddy. It's oh, yeah. Right, <laughs> yeah. It's right fucking there. Go past Oak, though, yeah. and you want to take an Uber. Trust me. Because uh, Oak is literally like. It's at the top of the hill. It's right yeah, there. like I could throw, you could throw a baseball at it. It's so sure. close. Yeah. So we wanted a little something different. So anyways, we went there. She didn't get a steak. She got a flight. I got the 
uh, pork belly and prawns. Fucking out of this fucking world. Um, it was a great meal. Absolutely fucking awesome meal. Great service, great restaurant. Church and Union. What was the name? Oh, Church, Church and Union. Union. Yep. So it was excellent. So I already called to you that Maggie would be a two-night max. Yep. So she was like, so there's a concert the next night. She's like, you can get tickets to that if you want because I'm not going to be probably rock and rolling. So I buy my ticket to that. I'm all pumped. We go into a bar, hit another bar, and I was like kind of surprised that she was bouncing back. Now we're gassing down, down no lights. So there was this other couple kind of sitting behind us at this place, and uh, somehow Maggie asked her something because that's how Maggie does. Maggie's talking to everybody. And yep. Maggie actually got her cowboy boots. I got her some cowboy boots, and so now she's fucking feeling her, feeling her flow. So we start talking to this couple. Guy was like kind of like standoffish a little bit, I felt like. But anyway, she's like, we're going to this other bar. Do you guys want to go with us? So I'm like, so yeah, fuck yeah. Right? So she's like, this bar's good. And she was like, actually, she's like, you know what the funny thing is? She's, they come down all the time. She's like, her name's Ashley. She's a great girl. She's like, there's the fucking nice of the bars. Like, there's pickpockets and shit. Like, they look for tourists in those places. She's like, so kind of the dumps are like the safer bars to be in. Dude, in and I'm a dump bar guy. I'm a trash person. My bo- this my, is my fucking place. Dude, my, everybody that told me about Nashville was like, Stay away from the main spot. Yeah. Go to the side bars. Yeah. So I, I, I ate both. I'm sure you yeah, did, Yeah, I did, too. I did, too. So we end up going to this other bar. Now, it's a little foggy because I, I must have drank a case of beer that night. Now, I'll say this, too. Me and Maggie did not drink a drink other than she had one glass of wine other than Mellow Light and Bud Light. I didn't have a shot. I didn't do anything because I knew I had to go all day when I was doing this, right? right. So anyways, we go in. Now, let me stri- describe Ashley's, um, I think it's fiance. I remember exactly. He he looks like whatever Santa Claus looked like when he was like 28, 29, Before but he was a beard? bad motherfucker. Yeah. No, he had the beard, oh. but it's not white. Uh, so anyways, I'm like talking to him a little bit. I thought you were saying like before Santa like got puberty and shit. <laughs> no, 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 no. Like he's he, like adult. He's an adult, but he's he not like an old repping, guy. Repping the North Pole? Yeah, he's just like a big guy. Like he's not a heavy guy, but he's yeah. like he's like a big guy. Like, a guy could handle himself in a fucking bar, right? So, like, we always say, you know, you meet somebody, and you're like, I fucking know I love this guy already, right? So we start yeah. talking. Yeah, yeah. And then, like, I put a cup down on this guy's table, this other table. He's like, hands to me. He immediately gets in my face. He's like, I'm not your trash can. This older guy. I'm not your fucking, this is your fucking trash can. And I'm like, all right, dude. I'm like, cool, whatever, right? And so I look over, and this guy, Derek, my guy, he's, like, got these, like, piercing blue eyes. He's, like, looking at him like, I'm like, ooh, this is a guy you can count on in a fucking yeah, yeah. jam, right? So I'm like, I'll bottle the guy, and then you bury him, because I, <laughs> I, I, I can tell you're a lot tougher than I am. Anyways, talking to the kid. Like, so I actually told him, like, I'm like, hey, I'm like, thanks for having my back, so I'm like, slap him on the back. And I, uh, he looked to me, like, kind of built, like, a bigger version of me. I felt him, like, this kid's a rock fucking solid, right? I looked down at his arms. They were, like, cast iron pipes, right? I know, I know a cast a iron man, pipe. This is a man. So I go, what do you do for work? He goes, oh, I, I'm a farmer. And he's like, and I work on a farm with 88,000 hogs. I go, can I get that again? <laughs> he goes, 88,000. Now, for reference, there's 36,000 people in Melrose. It's a pretty fucking crowded city. 88,000. So I'm like, so I'm like, 88,000 hogs, right? I, dude, we had a- Did he, I, I'm just imagining this fellow with a massive dip in his fucking lip. Um... I can't remember if he backed a dip. Idiot, no, no. Dude, it, no, but he was he's from Indiana. Fucking legend. Right? Does he, so like, no, like, hey, does he like, like Notre Dame? I don't know, but I'll tell you this. I go, Fuck. hey, I go. He's a question. I go, I'm gonna, I go, I can't wait to talk about you on my fucking podcast. So now today, I'm a huge fucking pussy. I'm like, oh, I'm kind of tired, right? Because I'm a fucking soft ass fucking dude from the north. He sends me a text. He's like, oh, I'm two episodes in, I love it. He sends me a picture, he's on a fucking tractor. Like fucking mowing nine thousand fucking acres of fucking land, and I'm like, that's he's a fucking. Mo- he's man. mowing Indiana. So the next day, I said to Maggie, I'm like, I'm like, uh, do you know what's f- kind of funny? Is like, people go to gyms, like they go to the gym and they lift a bunch of fucking weights on dumbbells, yeah. so that they can be like, can look good at the beach, right? This guy's lifting hogs all day, like he's fucking, like he is country strong yeah. shit. Like I was like, I have no doubt. If anybody comes at us, it was like the most freaking feeling in the world. It was actually the exact opposite feeling of when the bum was chasing me. It was like, <laughs> I can do whatever I want. I actually wanted to be like, Derek, let's go find that bum down in the fucking streets. And you can we help got, some, the we got some work to finish. Anyways, we had you a You lead the way, Derek. Absolute blast with him and, his, him and his girl, Ashley. They were fucking awesome. Derek, you listening to this? 
you're the fucking man, and we will party again. It will fucking happen. Whether it's up here or down, it'll probably be down in Nashville. They go like once a month, dude. Awesome, awesome fucking people. Like, like salt of the fucking earth. You know what I mean? Dude, I and not I, like in a way, like in a way that, like I said, like I always say it, like two lions on the Serengeti see each other, they yeah. meet, and they're like, yes, we can fucking hunt. I together. knew you were gonna love it. Oh, I mean, that's that's I mean, well, that that helped because they were fucking awesome. And yeah. she knew like every place, so she was like filling us in and everything. Maggie had this coat on, by the way, that she bought, like fucking Marshalls, that like looked like kind of like a Yellowstone ish type of like shawl thing. Yeah. It it shed. It, her shit was going all over the bar. It was like I was dating an Angora rabbit. Like, it was all over me. Sherman, Sherman. All over Ashley. All over fucking Derek. We had it fucking all. It was like, Ashley's blowing it off her fucking hair. It's all over the fucking place. Maggie just left it in the hotel room. Um, so we we must have drank, a, like, somebody's like, how many beers do you think you drank yesterday? I'm like, I drank a case. No, I drank a case, at least. Yeah. Um, and by the way, people who, like, go to places like that and aren't drinkers, I am so envious of you because you're probably like, oh, I spent $300 yesterday. I went to a concert, and then I, like, bought a hat and a shirt. And I'm like, oh, I spent $300. Then I spent $600 on beer yeah, and fucking booze. It's, it's, it, Not it, cheap to it drink get, there. It gets, it gets up to you quick. But I will say the bartenders appreciate Boston people. And, and they could just be blowing smoke. Sure. They could be. But when... So I didn't do like the whole, you went on like tours and shit. I didn't. We I, really went on one. We no, didn't really. No, but like we went down there for a, I went down there for a bachelor. Party. Yeah, that's different. Totally different, that's right? Different. So like I woke up and people were like, I want to go get breakfast. I hate breakfast. I would rather a steak right now. Sure. They don't sell steaks, but the bars are open. I'm going to go to a bar. Yep. And that's what I did. Yep. So I would go down there and I would conversate with these bots and I was like, where are you from? Boston, blah, blah, blah. And they were like, I, I can't tell you how many times they said it. I wish the Titans played the Patriots every week. Yeah. You guys tip well. You guys are a fun time. And I totally believe it because we are. Um, it's a drinking town and we're drinking people. Um, I, mean, I did see that you went to winners and losers. Okay. So can I, we're going to get please, there right now. Please do. So the next morning. This is your moment, dude. This well, is yeah, your this episode. Is, and, and, and you've been there, though. That's why I want to talk about no, it. No, but. You know what I'm talking about. But I, because I can talk about, if you, first off. We can't stress this enough. If you have not been to Nashville, you have I don't, to go. I don't give a fuck if you don't like, because it doesn't make a difference. It doesn't matter. Maggie you, doesn't like country music. Right? If you do not like country music, it does not matter. Nope, she doesn't like it. So, like, my my crowd was completely mixed. Completely. I'm mostly a rap dude. The kid that was getting married listened to fucking the top 40. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, it does not matter. If you go into a bar and this, first off, every single bar is live music. Yep. Which you love. Yep. How great was that? But I, I can't stress this enough. For me to walk into any bar in Boston and a guy happens to play White House Road by Tyler Childers. Yeah. I'm coming myself to the moon. My pants are so Because he knows music. Yeah, but, and because they, you don't see a lot of that. Right. You go down there like, I, I saw people play White House Road like three times. I know. Like it's, and it's so like all I, good music. Right. Like, so when I, when I, I actually, the worst one I, I didn't like Kid Rock the most because it was all shit I could hear up here in a cover band. You know so, what I mean? But that, so when I went down, when we went down there, we, again, we got there at like nine in the morning. We couldn't even check in till three. So we had to go to a bar first and we were fucking noodled by noon. <laughs> right. Yeah. And we, and every bar we went into at the time, Tennessee whiskey was like the number one song. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So we all went in there, fucking Yankees from the North going, play that song, play that song. And they, and they were like, oh my God, these fucking reads. <laughs> and then I we've talked about it on before. The guy was like, I will play anything but Tennessee whiskey. And my buddy goes, hey, you know any Prince? And he was like, Prince? And he was like, yeah, Prince. He goes, I'll play Prince for the next fucking hour. And my buddy gave him $100. And he fucking did, he started off with. Oh, that's awesome. Dude, he. Dude, they can play, they're all like jukeboxes. They can play anything. It was incredible. Yeah. Like, I've heard Biggie down there. Yeah. I've heard everything, everything. You can't, you can't go down there. You, you could literally be a a hip hop head, a fucking metal head. This, it's impossible not to have a good time down there. Yep. I agree. And for all you bachelors out there, it's the bachelorette capital of the world. Yes. And is it not? Let me just say one thing, and we have a lot of female corkers. I oh. love you all. You are my people. Now, that said, I walked around a lot without Maggie because she was taking naps. Do you know who's gonna a love this? Do you know who's gonna love this episode? Who? Julie Wilcox Turner. <laughs> she didn't want to leave. Really? She didn't want to leave. <laughs> and I and I knew that. Yeah. Dude, it's the it's the best place on earth. Yeah, I agree. Women. <laughs> 
are, here, here's what I'll say. Women are more annoying drunk than men in like midday in, in there. And then men become progressively more annoying than the women. Oh, I, think as I, agree. I think I disagree with you there. Really? Yeah. I think people, I think men that can't drink during the day. Oh, I saw it. puddles. Usually, usually go right to bed. Yeah, yeah, But yeah. women think that they can handle exactly. the and world. Can't. And they can't. They can't. And then, like, I don't know. I've seen it a hundred times because, like, especially down there, all my buddies went, like, I don't know. You get, you get drunk. You're fucking hungover. Yeah, we'll meet up with you, blah, blah, blah. I did my own thing one day. And my buddy, me and my buddy Joe did our own thing. We set it off at Hooters of all fucking places. I didn't even know they have a Hooters. Yeah, yeah. It's on a side street. Nice. All right. But then, like, you end up going and, you know, you get fucking yeah, 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 you move around. So I was like, I'll meet you over here. I'm going to, I think it was, like, Jason Aldean's or yep, whatever. Yep, I've been there. And then the pedal bike comes in, and then I'm like, all right, dude, I'll see you at this bar. Now I'm at my, I'm at the bar by yourself, right? All of a sudden, people are like, why are you by yourself? And I'm like, I'm not. Like, I'm here with 14 other people. Yeah, yeah. I'm just doing my own thing. And it just, it, it ends up being all girls. And you're like, wow, dude, this is like. It's humble well, pie. Uh, and I'll, it's humble pie. And I'll say this too, like, okay, for example, for me, it's taken years of research, folks, as a professional drinker, for me to know that, A, if I'm going to have a day like that, I literally can't allow myself to have anything but Bill Light or Bud Light or whatever the light no, beer I, is of I, choice. No, I did. I, I was fine with it. Okay. Right. But what I'm saying is that, like, I the day, the night we went out with uh, Derek and, his, and uh, Ashley, I had such a blast, I was just rifling down beers. Yeah. And in the morning, I said to Maggie, I go, God, I, go, I don't even remember the ride home. She goes, that's great, because we drove in a cab. I go, I go, I go, I'm the only person who can black off Miller Lite, by the way, apparently. like, Wait, I was, did you rent a car? No, 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 we took a cab. No, 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 we took cabs. No, I'm about to say, you don't have yeah. to, yeah. Yeah. Um, all right, before we go into the more, a couple things. Let's do a couple of sponsors. We just did Sean, installation situation, gmail.com. Yep. He's that guy. If you have a, a single family residence, seventy five percent, you've been paying into it through National Grid or EverSource. If you got a triple decker, aka an Irish battleship, it's already fucking taken care of. They they got you. And if they don't all agree to just done, look at your fucking bill. Yeah, we're gonna. Danny will find the needle guy and he'll come to them and make it happen. <laughs> <laughs> Installation situation at gmail dot com. Next. Um. Okay. Buggy, our guy. Jason Buggy. Yeah. Which, he went to Bellas today. You saw my text earlier today, by the yeah. way. Yeah. Can we we'll talk about that later? Yeah. So he went to Bellas today. Yeah. Bellas Roast Beef, North Andover. 1211 Osgood Street. Bellas NA.com. Uh it the best stand roast beef. For Narcotics Anonymous. That stands for North Andover. My, our guy Jason Buggy. He's about the same size as Hammers, wouldn't you say? About around the same size yeah, as Hammers. Roughly the same size roughly as Garage same, Bar. Yeah, <laughs> roughly the same size as a fucking fridge. Absolute mitts for yeah, hands. Absolute mitts. He, te- he didn't even text me he was going. Didn't invite me, which I was a little miffed about. But he just went up there and uh, had his pull the cork vest on, by Did the way. Did his thing. And uh, Harry made him a uh, beautiful fucking super, he said. That he's like, I, he's like, I can't explain it. He's like, it, it is well worth the fucking trip from wherever you're from, even if you're from Pennsylvania. He said he had that mozzarella sticks. They blew his dick off his body. The guy is castrated now because he had that mozzarella sticks. <laughs> uh, he's like, literally. Um, that's our fucking people. Bella's North Andover, the best fucking roast beef sandwich you can ever have in your life. Um, yeah, that's our place. So that's Bella's. Um, next one, and then we'll lead it into Lily Peas. Lily Peas Hot Chicken Hotline. Nobody in Nashville has got it on them. I'll just tell you right now. Uh, We've been trying to tell you. We've been trying to tell you. I am a Lily Peas guy till I die. I actually punched the guy at Hattie B's in his fucking nuts. If, if I'm he, like, don't try to give me this fucking listen, back-ass sandwich. We talk about Glenn with one end forever. He can tell you everything on the fucking menu. He is there every single week. Love it. Love it. Glenn is there every single week. Love it. He will tell you who's working, what days. Like yeah. he's a and he blinks like a fucking psycho. Dude, because I'm gonna be on my like fucking no drinking, no good food diet in January, I've been trying every sandwich on their menu. Again, I had the Lily P next week. So I gotta be able to tell you what's on there. The Lily P is pimento cheese. Yep. Um, which is fucking unbelievable. I didn't think I would like it, but I'm like, I'm getting everything. Fucking fire. And and Parsons was like, did you have the Lily P? What'd you think? I'm like, money. I haven't even got the basics. I've been going for the far end of the menu. Right. So I can move back towards the fucking, towards the regular ones. Fuck yeah. Um, LilyPeasChicken.com. Tuesday night, they have Bluegrass Night. They're having their fucking <coughs> three anniversary party. Yeah. It's this Saturday. 
I'm going to tell you about a deal. 1995, all you can eat chicken, and there's going to be music there. All right, what else do you need? Do you need somebody to blow you out back? All right, yes. you need them to do that in order for you to go to this restaurant. Because well, I'll do it for you. We'll if you find need me somebody. To. I'll find you in the garage and I'll take care of you. Um, You'll see Brennan going. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the place is fucking awesome, dude. It's fucking great. Uh, I'm, I'm going to try to stop by there on Saturday. We got a lot of stuff going on. But, anyways, lilypeacechicken.com. And now we have the Lilypeace Chicken Hot Chicken Hotline. Are we All doing right? it right now? Yeah, we got three. We got three. All right. Do you have more ice? I can't hear shit, by the way. I do. I'll give you ice in a second. There we go. All right. Um, we'll start with uh, one about Nashville. Win a t-shirt if you play it on the show. Fuck, you guys owe me a case already. <laughs> Vacation. Smashville. Great city, but I didn't spend enough time in there. But uh, vacations. People hate on me. Double income, no kids. I love vacation. I work to live, not live to work. You're going to fire me? Fire me. But I'm going to be fucking traveling the world while you do it. <laughs> Have a good night, fellas. Chris Mohan. Chris Mohan. Obviously. Um, real quick. Uh, yeah, and I need to talk to Craig because Craig's like, yeah, I got your shirts, and then, like, I haven't heard back from him, so... Um, Buddy, he's on miles with Adam. He is. He he's is on like, bat. He's, he's on. I think he's like he rides Denali food trucks like uh like in Team Wolf. Like uh No, it's it, it's not like that. It's on he's a, it's like a fucking <laughs> jetpack. Yeah, it's a jetpack, dude. All right, speak of the devil, you ready? <laughs> Yo, it's your man Adam Jump Jump Town. I'm telling you what, very, very excited for many things, many reasons. One is because Metallica released a new album. I know this is about vacations, but every time a new Ma Metallica album comes out, I go on a vacation mentally, personally. I go far away, and I just fucking let that shit go. So, yeah, Metallica new album, Luxie Turner. Go check it out. Two. We got my man Brendan the Herd coming on the Jump House Tuesday night, 7 p.m. Be there, be square. He's also going to perform a couple of his tracks on the guitar. We're going to plug it in. We're going to let him do his thing. And then number three, it's in the works. Jump Town, BP Hammers, Arm Wrestling Contest for Autism. Love it. I'm putting it out there. I'm letting it be known. More to come. Stay tuned. Follow. Pulling the cork, the jump house, the Nally food truck. Sausages here. Uh, How do you not love him? I mean, it's impossible. By the way, he... He messaged me Tuesday nights. I usually go to Lily. No, he messaged me too, and I, I just I yeah, don't know no. if I can yet. Yeah, exactly. So he you messaged go, me, you and tomorrow. I was cocked when he messaged me, and I'm like, yes, I'm like, I'll drop everything to go to this, and I'm so psyched that I did because I can't wait to go Hell over there yeah. and fucking hang. Hell yeah! Um, Jump Town is. I mean, we don't have to talk about it. It's, he's a fucking guy. <laughs> the By the way, when him and Hammers go head to head with that, uh, do we have to rent out the garden? I think we have to like. I think we have to like get. We have to get like a, a probably a a, do, a cop on duty. We have to do it with the Irish American. Like I know a spot. I, I think we know a guy too that can <laughs> hook us up. Right? I'll tell you right now. I I don't know who's gonna win that match. Both of them would literally snap my arm in half. My guy Derek, the hog fucking farmer. Yep. I I mercy on their souls if his arms get a hold of theirs. Oh, he's got absolute Popeye dude, arms. Dude, I don't even know. Like no, like Bluto's arms. Oh, like from Popeye. Have, dude, like he is fucking. His arms can fucking. They slap you like you're dead. Like he's like buggy and him went together like roadhouse style. Whew. Oh shit! This bar would be in sticks. All right, last one. Long time, all time. We know who it is. Daniel Gillis, no Irish game this week. So you, my friend, get a day off pass this week. Aaron freaking go bra. Instead, it's coming for that pencil neck dick, angry elf who chooses to call himself Doctor Strange. Buddy, the only thing strange about you is maybe if you took some of my advice, you could get off the couch with your wife, Karen, shut off Anderson Cooper, and head to a candlelight dinner at the Old Country Buffet with your winnings. <laughs> Cheer up, Dr. Strange, the angry elf. Save your energy. It's a busy week for you at the Square One Mall. <laughs> Putting the kids on Santa's lap for pictures. <laughs> I'm out. Bobby <laughs> Froyo, ladies and gentlemen. The guy is an artist. An artiste. The guy knows what he's doing. Hey, uh, you can get some ice. Yeah, it is. Go right outside. There's a cooler right on the front of the garage. There's a bag like with a little bit of ice in it. All right, reach down in there. <clears throat> All right, Danny, we'll be back in a second. 
Um, Bobby Froyo, by the way, and Danny will be hearing this as I'm doing it. I got multiple requests for him to come on the show to be a guest. Uh, we are making that happen. He's going to get bowl game predictions. We're going to figure out the date on this. Uh, we're working on it. We're working on it. Next week, just to, pref- just to preview what we have coming up, we get the holiday correspondence next week of coming back. Fitzy, Matthew Fitzmorris, and our guy John Clark, Jonathan Clark, legends, legends of the fucking game. Um, they'll be making their second appearance. First ever second appearance, I believe. And then after that, Jumptown returns. On the 18th, Jumptown is coming back to the fold, back home, if you will. Uh, and he will be back with us, and we'll do all sorts of Jumptown stuff. Also, if you heard that message from Jumptown, uh, you can listen to me. I'm going to be on the Jump House tomorrow night. Maybe Danny, too. I'm going to play a couple songs. We're going to hang out. We're going to party. It's going to be fucking awesome. Uh, I love seeing my boy Jumptown. So I think you can check that out on waveradio.com. I'll post links to it on here tomorrow. Um, but I'm expecting that to be a fucking amazing time. I forget where he said they do it at. I feel like it was in some random ass place. It's in the middle of Massachusetts. Yeah, it's in like Littleton or something like that. Anyways, I'm going there. That's where I'm going tomorrow. But just drop, uh, just drop your location in case you go missing, dude. Yeah, yeah, just in case fucking I, I get lost in Denali food truck. Denali food truck's like a space machine. Like it is. You fucking, you end up like in the middle of nowhere, just fucking gone. Um, you know what? I have to say this, and I know Jumptown's going to fucking hate this, but it just is a fact. And I, I am totally respectful of the fact that like a lot of the music I listen to, people like hate it. Like Maggie hates bluegrass. Fucking hates it. Cannot listen to it, right? Like I, Metallica fun, doesn't do it for me. Like I can't with Metallica. Like So I, I, I can listen to a couple songs, but like it just doesn't. They, I know what it does for other you, people. I I, I can respect you ap- the shit out of it. Can you appreciate them? Yeah, like I I would if you had tickets, you were like tomorrow night Metallica. I, I'd go with you. You know yeah, what I mean? I think because like, they're a fucking electric factory. Um, I I love their like hits. I'm not. You'd never see me like fucking anything like that. But like, I used to do a like a. I used to piss everyone off. No, I still do it, but I do it only through March. I mean uh, March first through the seventeenth. Yep. I do an Irish song a day. And they have a great. I do that too. <laughs> they do. A, they do a great cover of. Uh, yeah, they do. Yeah. Of. Uh, of course, I'm gonna fucking. I know you're talking about. Fuck! Oh my god! Whack for my daddy, yo! Yeah. Oh my- Whiskey the draft. Thank you, Jesus Christ! Now I fucking feel like I'm Italian right now. <laughs> uh, it's it's incredible. It's a great one. It really yeah. is, and and I appreciate the whole everything about it. Even though they fucked. You know what, dude? They made so much money. They never should have fucked that dude from Napster. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, they make enough money, dude. They no, I agree money. with you. They're fucking loaded. Laws can fuck off. Laws <laughs> a fucking tool, dude. I got a fucking tool. I can make it. I, I know a way better drummer. His name is Mike Joyce. He's a fucking local <laughs> salt plumber. He'll fucking make sure that your house is fucking heated and everything else. Make it make a way better drummer than Laws. Fuck <laughs> off, Laws, dude. By the way, another thing I had to bring up about like, so we were shit faced always that night. I didn't remember taking the cab home. And, like, do you have a money clip or do you use a wallet? I can't remember. Uh, I have a wallet. Okay, so I have a money clip. So, like, all my money's, like, in the clip section. But let me and show you, like, let me show you the wallet, though. Yeah. Like, it's a, it's, I don't have a wallet wallet. It's a front wallet. Like, I put yeah, it. Yeah, it's kind of similar enough to what I have. But, it's like. A front, it's a front wallet. So, I have, like, the clip one, like oh, this. Man, yeah, ND. You know like this. Yeah. Same and right. I, like, woke up and, like, all the money was, like, falling out and crumpled. I'm like, you know what's funny? I said to Max, I'm like. Like, when I get shit-faced, my money gets shit-faced. Like, my oh, yeah. money's like, yeah. like, like, it's a fucking mess, like, in my wallet. Like, so I, I try to teach my, and this is like shit, you, you know, a father teaches his son. Put all your money the same way. Yep. The reason I say this now, because, like, he's starting to, like, care about money. Yep. At 11. Not big money, but he's like, you know. Sure. But, like, everyone's woken up where they're fucking, you wake up and you're like, Ugh, yeah, yeah, I got yeah. $108 and it just looks like yeah. throw up. <laughs> That's what mine look like. Right? And, uh, but he's starting to give a fuck about it. So, like, when he sees me pull my money out like that and he's like, fall asleep like that, I'm like, mind your fucking business. Yeah, yeah. All right? You got enough food on the table? Yeah. All right. So, I'll figure out. Do you want that? You want to use your money that's in perfect condition? (laughs) Um, so, anyways, the next day, uh, we, we wake up, we went down (laughs) to the Nash house. I get the fried chicken sandwich. Yep. I got a burger. Did they have, the thing that I keep bragging about, the Bloody Mary bar? So I didn't see that. All right. 
and I was not made aware of it. Then again, we left on like a Monday or a Tuesday because, and we'll get to that. But I, we, we were, we were stuck in Nashville for three extra days. Yeah, because there was a huge storm up here. Oh, really? So the Pats Chiefs before Pats Chiefs game, the AFC Championship where we yep. won last minute. I was in Nashville for that. Sick as a dog. All of my boys were out celebrating. I was in the whole, I was in the Cambria. Oh, that sucks, dude. I've been there. I was fine with it. Yeah. I was, fine, I was by myself. Yeah, sometimes I'm fine with it. It's cool with it. Yeah. And then I was like, all right, we're leaving tomorrow. Like, I'll be home. Yeah. And then I wasn't. I wasn't uh, home until fucking Wednesday. That's the worst, dude. dude. Yeah. Worst. So what, what was ahead. what was funny? Yep. Was uh, I think so we all knew we weren't leaving until Monday. Yep. And then Monday happened, and it's Boston was still a fucked up area. Didn't get home till Tuesday. Tuesday turned into whatever. But Tuesday, I actually went out, right? And we were like still stuck. And we were like, what the fuck? Like, we've only, we've already drank for a week straight. Yeah. Right? Like, you could, we're done. So we went to a bar and we like just fucking, I don't know, it was midweek, you know? Who walks in was fucking Commissioner Bill Evans from Boston Police. Remember him? Yeah. Yeah. Skinny little yeah, fuck yeah. with a big nose. Looked like he looked like he came out of a Nosferatu movie. Like we, a have fucking... a pic- we have a picture with him, dude. <laughs> And he walked in, and we're like, it was me. I was like, Commissioner Evans. He's like, he's like, you got, like, the the look on his face was like, you got to be shitting me. Yeah, yeah, I'm in Nashville, and these motherfuckers, you know? And I was like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, I knew him. You know what well, I mean? the guy's like, on TV all the time, right. dude, at that point. And he's like, yeah, he goes, we, you know, it took us fucking a day and a half to get down here. And I'm like, we're trying to get home. He's like, yeah, the plane turned around, buddy. Oh, he just didn't get, like, he had, like, the Boston humor. Took a quick flick, didn't see him again, dude. He yeah, wanted yeah. nothing to do with Boston people. <laughs> nothing. I don't blame him. Of course not. He wants to be like anonymous down there. It was fucking hilarious. That's I, when he was on the TV all the time, too. We, we have a picture with him, though. It's actually pretty good. Um, so that next day, I got up. So we, had, we had breakfast. Maggie's like, I'm going back to bed. And I'm like, all right, well, I, gotta go to, I wanted to go back to the Country Music Hall of Fame and get some stickers. Was this the day that you were like, Maggie went to bed? I'm, yeah. I'm not so stopping. So I'm like, I'm not, not pressing. I'm not going into retreat. Now, I know <laughs> she's good for like a three-hour nap right now. Right. So I'm like, what are you going to do? Fucking lay in bed staring at the fucking ceiling. I mean, really? You know what I mean? So I took us to a show that night. My guy, who I fucking play on this TV all the time, Trey Hensley, was sitting with a nitty gritty dirt band, legendary bluegrass guys. So I got a ticket to that. So I first place I hit is loses, when it loses. Yep. Oh, I got to tell you about that too, but again. Go in there, get a beer. I'm like, let's see how this goes this down. This is during the day? This is during the day. Uh, it's like 12.31. Okay. Things like. Was it packed? No, I was like. It was still early, so it might have been like noonish. You know what I mean? It wasn't like getting really crazy yet. All right. So then I go, I left there. She went to Jason Aldean's because they had good singer songwriters there during the day, like I noticed. So I wanted to just sit at the bar, and I liked their bar. So I'm like, so I sat at the bar alone, drank like four millilite pounders, just on my phone, doing like we like to be by ourselves at the bar, just Love fucking it. it's the best. texting people, fucking whatever, checking my fucking shit. And uh, then I'm like, she's like, oh, where are you? And I'm like, I got a decision to make here. Like, I. I went back to Boston. Good luck. Yeah, I'm like, I got a decision to make here because, like, I'm going to be, if I don't pull it now, I'm not going to be in shape to go to the show. You know what I mean? Like, I'm just, like, I'm getting, dr- like, because I have the shampoo effect. I've been drinking for two days straight. Right. Now I'm drinking again. I had a great buzz. So I, I'm like, all right, let me go back. I'll meet you. We went to the Nash House again for dinner. She's like, I just don't even feel like leaving the restaurant. I'll leave the hotel. We had another great dinner there. And then I went and saw that show. And it was, like, the perfect thing because they were serving beers, but it was, like, a pretty nice place. It's inside the Country Music Hall of Fame. Yeah. And um, I'm like, I'm not getting a beer, whatever. I, I've been drinking enough, you know. It's just like fucking, I'm getting dumber, like, at this point. I'm not even getting, like, drunk, really. Right. So, band was fucking fire. Fantastic. They played for two hours. I watched an hour and a half. And then I had seen everything I needed to see. I just was in that mood. Walked back up the hill, laid down with the bed. And it was, like, the best, like, best exit day I've ever had. Like, where I got a buzz. Yeah. Felt great. Saw some great music. But I was never, like, but I, I could have, like, if I, if I said, fuck it, I'm skipping the show. I'm just going on hard one more night. Yeah. I would have been fucking like in traction in a fucking hospital yeah, in Nashville. That's what happens, today. dude. You know what I mean? That's what happens. Because you do, even for us, right? Like, unless you are an actual fucking alcoholic, yeah. you tap out. Like, you, you have hit a day, it's usually like day three ish, like after three of going that hard, where you're like, I can't, I can't do that right now. Like, my body's not doing it. Capable anything. to do yeah, it. Yeah, he's not right. capable to do it. You know what I mean? Um, so, anyways, in the period, Fucking get out of there and whatever. And it was, dude, I had, I can't even say, I can't put into words 
how much I love this place. Dude, it's... And it's all... Con- oh! And here's what's awesome about it, too. And you know this. You've been there. It's all contained in, like, a little bit of an area. So it's yeah, like... It's, you, you, you don't have to go far. That's why they call it Nash Vegas. Because it's not like... But the difference between Vegas is to get one side of the strip to the other, you got to walk a fucking marathon. Yeah, right? so, like, where we were, which, I again, I didn't know until That's right fucking now. crazy, dude. We stayed at Cambria. There's, like, a slight hill of Nashville. There's one street. By the way, slight hill? It's, it's slight. kind of a pain in the ass, dude. Slight. <laughs> so I've never had a problem going up it, but I'm also, you know, a couple years yeah, yeah, younger. Yeah, a couple years younger. Yeah, whatever. But it's, you're right there. So you see the whole strip right there. It's awesome. It's awesome. You don't need a car. You don't need anything like that. I can't believe, they, Nashville should fucking pay us right now. Dude, we're like the Nashville Tourism Are fucking you center. Me? Here's the other thing, too. I, so Maggie's like, oh, eight set, like, now I'm not a weed guy. We've talked about this. Right. Maggie is definitely not a weed person. Yeah. Right? She's like, do they sell? Like, is it legal down there? I'm like, I don't know. Like, sell is weird. Dude, they have stands down there? Yeah. It's like somebody's mom had a bake sale at your fucking second grade fucking public weed. school. Just be, people with, like, weed tables. Good for it's them. It's not even like, it's not even like you have to go in there and, like, give them your life. Like, in Massachusetts, for the people who were at home who don't know, yeah. you have to go into a dispensary. You give them a license. They run it. They fucking unlock a double-barreled fucking door. It's like, it's like going into the back of a fucking bank vault. Right. Right. Down there, they just fuck it on the side of the street to sell weed gummies. Which, by the way, I'm like, I don't know what's in your gummies. I mean, if the people in Massachusetts, they get that shit regulated, dialed in. Right. Like, I wouldn't feel comfortable taking some guy's random ass fucking gummies on the side of the street. You know what I mean? I thought that was weird. I didn't know if that was there when you went. I didn't know. No. Because it was everywhere, dude. What I did see down there was, you know, it's very hospitable down there. Yes. Everyone is so nice. It, the Southern hospitality is absolutely real. real. Yes. 100% real. Yep. Uh, but what I did see down there is people that come up to you and they keep going, snow, snow, snow. And I was like, yeah, I don't want Coke, dude. I don't want Coke. If you wanted Coke down there, it is everywhere. Really? Oh, yeah. They kept going, snow, snow, snow. I was not approached by anybody for oh. snow. I, probably because I, I was walking around with my wife. They're probably like... Yeah, it was, we were in a bachelor party. Yeah. So, I mean, but, I was selling it, but I was not... Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah you she, see five guys. Obviously, it's more like, oh, these guys probably want some blow. Yeah, right. So that like that's what like the general consensus was. And I was like, yeah, it's it's not for me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you got Miller Lite, though? I mean, you yeah, got Coors yeah. Light or Bud yeah, Light? Bud Light, yeah. You, wow, you took the last of the one, huh? <laughs> it's the only one that I actually will <laughs> fucking enjoy. Uh We'll talk about winners and losers for a minute. Did you get cowboy boots when you were down there? Fuck out of here. Okay, good. No. All right, because Maggie's like, do you want cowboy boots? I'm like, no, I'm not a cowboy guy. No. She's like, do you want a cowboy hat? No, I do like wearing a cowboy hat to the beach just to be a dick. No, I, I wore a cowboy hat like during cowboy weekend up at my camp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I, by the way, I looked fucking incredible doing it. <laughs> but I, I am not a cowboy guy, dude. I, no. I, 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 wear, on... I wear a regular fucking brim hat backwards or or... If I have a nice haircut, which I do right now, I will gel that, make my beard look good, and that's that. I'm not wearing a fucking cowboy hat. I saw one other guy with a scally cap. It was the first place I went to. I Guess wore a scally the whole time. Guess where he was from? Now he's from Kentucky. Get out of here. He was this old guy, and he's like, I'm like, oh, you, you must be Irish then. He's like, he's like, no, I'm German. I'm like, <laughs> just like the hat. He's like, just love these hats. I'm like, all right, you're my guy. Um, I had on a pair of, like, I wish I had them here to show you, but like they're called like bull boxer boots. They look like, basically like a boot that you wear if you're in Peaky Blinders, right? Like, they're nothing special. They just, like, look like a boot that somebody worked in in the 20s. We, we we went into, like, the cowboy store. Yeah. And I was like, all right, like, that's a cool hat. Then I saw a price of said hat yeah, that, I would, yeah. that I would never wear again. Yeah. It was, like, $400. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, well, that's awesome. No, yeah. I, I mean, I bought Maggie a, a pair of boots, and she... Loves them. They're great. No, they're, she'll wear them. She'll wear them. Yeah. I'm not gonna wear those. Yeah, things. I'm not. I'm not. I, I have to be me. It took I, me this long to figure out what a degenerate I am. No, I'm. I I went down to Nashville. I drank like a fish. It was a great time. I again, this whole episode is about Nashville. Yeah, and I I don't even think I came home with a fucking shot glass. I I, I got some stick and some mugatakes. That's it. I just dude. I, first, second bottle we walked into this black guy working the door who looked like he could run through a wall. He goes to me, he got, grabs I got, me. I got another great story, Bob. He grabs me, and he's like, he goes, yo. I'm like, what? He goes, is that Nate panel? And I'm like, what? He's like, yeah. And I'm like, yeah, it's the Peaky from Boss Guy. He's like, let me see that. I like, took it off. He's like, he's like, ah, I've been looking for an eight panel. He's like, I can't find one. I'm like, dude, give me your guy. I'm like, <laughs> he's like, he's like, you're a big head. I'm like, yeah, no shit. You see it? It's a big fucking watermelon head. Like, that's what I got, you know? I went into one bar, and th- this girl's the one that kind of told me. She was a 
fucking dime, by the way. And she goes, I want every team to go against the fucking Boston teams. She goes, you guys are awesome, blah, blah, blah. You're hospitable, blah, blah, blah. And uh, Stu comes out. He is... The, when I say the size of William McGinnis, <laughs> and then he comes out and he goes, uh, I played at the University of Alabama. So naturally, I'm a college football guy. I'm like, I fucking hate Alabama. You ruined my life. I'm a Notre Dame <laughs> fan. And he goes, oh, all right. He goes, you're from Indiana? I go, no, so I'm, I'm from Boston. I said, but I'm I'm a college football guy. We're going back and forth for a half hour. He goes, do you know Gerard Mayo? And I go, what? Go oh, Tennessee? Fucking number 51? He shit me. Like, yeah. Come on, shut up. He's like, he was my, uh, my college roommate. I go, Gerard Mayo was your college roommate? He goes, no, my roommate, like my actual roommate, like in life, before fucking college. And I go, you shitting me? He goes, I'm going to FaceTime him right now. I go, you're going to FaceTime Gerard Mayo. <laughs> he did. I watched him do it. He said, Gerard M. Could have been fucking Mayweather. I have no fucking <laughs> idea. But there was a Gerard M, and the, and the guy never answered. But the guy fucking was like, yeah, I know him very well. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, it was fucking dope. But uh, winners and losers. Yep. We got to talk about this, right? So... One of these one of these days we were down there. It's a, it's kind of a blur at this point, but all my boys had left and I had woke up late. It might have been the day where I day drank, took a nap, everyone was gone. Yep. We're at winners and losers. So I took an Uber by myself back there, right? And winners and losers isn't on the strip. I think we're thinking of two different bars. No, there's a play, there's winners and losers right next to each other. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, yeah. But it's not far from the hotel. No, it's not. You took an Uber there? I took an Uber. <laughs> It's literally like a block away. I don't think so. Uh, we're thinking of two different places then. Probably. Why would there be a- Losers is right across from the, um, literally right across from the Country Music Hall of Fame. I didn't go to the Country Music. I have no idea what that is. It's on the same. All right. So anyways, go ahead. Let's, it I'll would, tell you if it's the same. What's it like when you walk in? Uh, first, was is there a- big or small? Was there a bar right next to it called Winners? No. I didn't see All a bar right. like that. So then we went to two different places. Okay. All right. Yeah. So it was, it was a bar in Nashville- which was probably a $15 Uber ride from where we were. Okay, so that's definitely not the place. Because literally, <laughs> I walked this place in 30 seconds. Okay, and it wasn't that. Yep. But there was winners on the left, losers on the right. So they, were, I texted my boys, like, we're in losers. No, we're in winners. Went to winners. It's two different bars, but it's connected. Yeah. Went to winners. It was like a fucking drip. I was like, this is, this is terrible. Yeah. Like, th- this is where, like... The Glee Club hangs out, right? <laughs> loses? That when you were like, I'm in loses, I was like, I know exactly where he is, but obviously I I don't. Sure. Loses was fucking mobbed. It was filled with bachelorette parties, bachelorette parties, bachelorette parties, and football people from Kansas City. Now I say this because we played Kansas City that weekend. Yep. We are the only people there from Boston. We were getting fucking chirped. Chirped at. Guess who's going to give it back? 15 guys that don't have zero to lose, right? <laughs> Fuck you. You don't have Tom Brady, baby. You don't got Tom. Guess we won that fucking weekend, by the way. <laughs> but that entire place, um, what I will say about the South, they chirp, chirp, chirp. They can't. Once you give it back, they're done. Yeah. yeah. But then they're like, let me get you a beer. <laughs> let me get you a drink. Let me get you a drink. You walk out of there with your fucking wallet full. Yeah. yeah, yeah they were yeah. mad cool. Yeah. We tried to get, fuck off. D- fuck that bitch, Tom ass Brady. <laughs> they didn't give a fuck, dude. Yeah, they, yeah. they were mad cool. <laughs> Walked back over to Winners. Drip. It's the same bar, dude. It, there's one door that walks from one end. Un- yeah, it's, yeah. it's a no-brainer uh, concept. Winners, losers, blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was separated by a fucking garage door. Dude, we take Paul and the Cork on the road. It has Nashville as a fucking thousand percent stop. We, we have no choice. It is. I can't even, like, obviously for me, I mean, there's a lot of things that I'm interested that are there that I'm just into. But, like, just as, like, a person who, like, I'll just tell you how I am. I'm not the type of person who likes to go on vacation and have to, like, drive all over eternity to find this restaurant, to find this fucking museum or whatever, or this bar, or this section of town, and then you take an Uber to here. You don't have to do any of that there. You don't. You literally. It's it, right there. If I was to just, disc- for the people who I would say 80, 75% of the people who listen to this are from this general area, right? Imagine if you're staying in a hotel and that hotel is on the water 
right across from where Faneuil Hall is, right? And Faneuil Hall is the entire strip of bars, right? Yeah. That's kind of what it's like, except yeah. all the bars are fucking awesome. And Pret- pretend Faneuil, the streets on cobblestone. Pretend Faneuil Hall is... 30 the, times the size. No, no, no. Yeah. So yeah. pretend Faneuil Hall is the left that they take on Boylston Street yep. for the Boston Marathon. Yep. That whole... That that, whole that's actually a better thing. If, if Boylston Street was just filled with neon and lit yes, up like that, that's it what it's like. That's what it is. It's like a strip that big... With just bar after bar after bar, it's after awesome. fucking awesome shit. Great fucking it's music coming out of everybody. Alcoholics, uh, Disneyland. Like if you love to party, which I mean is well, <laughs> this whole show it's called pulling the cork because we love to fucking pull the cork on a bottle. Right. I mean it is so much fucking fun. Yeah. And everybody there that I met, and obviously I'm sure there's people who've had a horrible experience. Even you. Homeless people that try to kill you. Yeah, I mean, uh, I got love for him. I got like, he didn't kill me. I got love for him. You know what I mean? He's gonna steal my guitar picks that I just bought. Right. Um, but I had, we had a fucking, absolutely fucking awesome time. I thought, here's the thing that fucking, <laughs> that fucking drove me kind of nuts. I've had this before. Going to the bathroom, the place, I go out the night before, the night at, we eat dinner. I'm going to see that show, but I'm an hour early. So I go to a bar, obviously. Guy in the bathroom wearing a Red Sox hat. I go, oh, nice Sox fan, huh? Now, I don't like the Red Sox. I've said it a million times. But I like Boston people. I'm from Boston. He's like, oh, the hat. Yeah, man. He's like, I, he's like, nah, I'm not a Red Sox guy. I'm like, oh, yeah? He's like, nah, dude, I just love uh, I love MLB hats. I got, like, every MLB hat. And I'm like, what are you just a, you're just a fan of the league? Like, a big MLB guy. Just a fan of the league. That you know? would have drove me. I would have pissed on <laughs> dude, him. Dude, I was like, I, the thought of wearing a hat. Can you imagine me? Imagine I walked in here right now with a Yankees hat. What would you say? Well... If it was for reason, if you're like, fuck the Red Sox, no, I no, hate no, them no, forever. No. First off, that would never come out of my mouth. Okay. But if I walked in here right now, if you walked in here right now and you had a Yankees hat on, yeah. I'd be like, what are you doing? That's different. What if I had like a, what if I was like, if I, which I have decided that I can't stand the Red Sox and can't stand the Red Sox. If you hat. wore like if a, I wore a Detroit Lions hat, a Detroit, not Lions hat, a Detroit Tigers hat, and I'm like, I'm a Tigers fan now. No, no, I, I wouldn't even look at you, I wouldn't <laughs> even look at you that way. <laughs> I, like, you, you're not a Tigers fan. I just, I would just be like, <laughs> no, I could never be really a fan of another team because I could, I can, I can abandon the Red Sox, but I really can't become a fucking fan of like the a random like the Houston Astros. No, I, I can't allow you to do this. Not yeah. as a, not, no, you can't. No, you can't. I, I don't. I understand you hate baseball. I get it, but yeah. I can't allow you as a co-host of this podcast <laughs> to be anti Red Sox. You could wear any any minor league team hat you want. Yeah. If you ever walked in here with a <laughs> Yankees hat. I'm gonna wear a Yankees hat. You think I'm a fucking psychopath? I I just can't, I can't allow it. I wouldn't. I couldn't bring myself to do it. I but love, but like like if you like, seriously if you Toronto Blue Jays walked in here, I'd be like, oh, he just likes the logo. That, that's all I would assume. If I like the Toronto Blue Jays logo, <laughs> take that guitar and fucking honky talk me. With all that. right, a- any other? But like you're a logo guy. Yeah. I like I like logos. Yeah, but like I like logos for teams. I have no like for example, I have that like like the Pawtucket Red Sox. That's my Red Sox hat. Right. All right. So that's my way of saying I'm still a Red Sox guy, but I'm not going to be for fucking John Henry's big team because he's sure. fucking cool. Absolutely getting every dollar he can get out of anybody, right. and then getting LeBron James involved. Yeah. Ah! Um, <laughs> I can't do that. But I'll tell you what I can do. I could be like I have a fucking <coughs> Corpus Christi hooks hat. Why? I know nothing about them. I don't even know who farm team they are. But you know why I like it? They got a sick logo and fucking the logos are incredible. Logo, I love minor league baseball logos. We've talked. They're, they're about the best. It's a, it's Montgomery the best biscuits. Going. Look them up. If New Era could make a consistent cap that the hit the hats fit correctly, oh, oh, yeah, we got fucking st- we gotta be started I, on that. You know what, dude? I might message them tomorrow and be like, listen, Broad. do you want to? Do you want to? Do you want to be a fucking sponsor? Yeah, we can make if you make shit right. We're a good sponsor for you. Yeah. You're a good sponsor for us. That's right. Yeah. If and, you and make will, shit right. And we will, like I said to my guy, Derek, in that bar, I'm like, when, you're, when I'm with you, when you're with me, I have you, right? Right until the fact, right until something really goes bad. But I'm like, no, I got you. Like, I, I'm your guy, right? You're my guy. Like, when we have a sponsor, Lily Peas, Bellas, Insulation Situation, uh. Extra Effort Hockey. Uh, let's go through the fucking, by the way, we thank everybody that's ever fucking been a sponsor. We have a returning sponsor coming back on soon. We do. American mm-hmm. Safety Sprinkler. Bang. That's, let's do it. Listen, American Safety Sprinkler, Mike Brandano. As you know, AmericanSafetySprinkler.com. Uh, we're going to figure out. I'm, I'm not going through the whole spiel right now. He's fine with it. Yep. Um, they're, the, they're the guys that you need to talk to. So 
Fucking reach out Commercial to them. Commercial spaces, restaurant spaces. Please. They do it all. Please. All right? You um, need to do it. Yeah, and by the way, who knows? Fucking Derek's farm might be sponsoring this thing soon. The hog farm. Talk about, by the way, is the other thing I go, this kid's actually bringing home the bacon. Like, it's like, it's not Bingo. just a fucking... Look at that. It's not just fucking... And next week starts up, Bella's. We have the, you know, we have our Lily Peas, Hot Chicken Hotline. What's your beef starts next week. That's when we both pick out something that's bugging the fuck out of us. And that's our Bella's special. Fucking What's your beef? Dude, listen. I think I'm all right on the mic. Brennan Ahern. Let me tell you something about my co-host right here, dude. <laughs> I give credit where it's due. The, my man comes up and he's like, where's your beef? That's the Bella's fucking... That's that's what, right. Fucking Harry fucking, and Sandra. Fucking, those are our people now. Are you shitting we me, will, We will lay down traffic for those people. Um, Biggie Smalls on the fucking... On the right. sidewalk. On the fucking ones and twos, dude. <laughs> on the ones and twos. Um, anyways, I had a fucking absolutely fantastic time. I can't say enough about the place. If you haven't been there... If you have not you been to go. Nashville... I, again, I don't give a fuck what genre music you like. It, do, it doesn't matter. And, 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 right? Uh, I was there for damn near a week. Two nights out of there, we went to a, a bar that w- turned into a club that was like hip-hop. So it's like, yeah, it's all country without a doubt, no doubt about it. But if you go to a guy, give him 20 bucks and be like, hey, buddy, you know any Biggie? I guarantee fucking to you he will play Biggie on a guitar. And guess what? You're going to love it. You're going to love it. I, dude, here's the last thing I'm going to say. because The last thing they want to do is play the fucking country hits. They were playing all Waylon, all the old stuff. The last thing I'm going to say about it, and this is, you know, we've talked about it before on this. We, we're for all people, right? But I'm not like we are pro police, pro fucking firefighters, right? There is so much like if you are, you know, if you're a policeman, a firefighter, a service member, like, coming to get a drink on us type of stuff going on there. That John Rich's place, it's just all, like, Malden, fire, Malden police badge up there. Yeah. Bunch of different, like, of the patches on the wall, all police. So it's like, in a world where, like, you know, whatever, like we said before, there's plenty of bad police people, there's plenty of bad fucking cooks, there's plenty of fucking bad food truck guys. Jump Town's not one of them. All right, Jump Town's <laughs> a legend. Uh, legend. I was, I would like seeing that. You know what I mean? Like, it's a good place to go for, like, people like that, like, to it's be like, time. hey, it's fucking supportive of, you know, some of the people we need in our society that help us fucking live our time. life and enable us it's to. It's a great time. Is is it cheap? Nope. Nope. But guess what? Vegas Neither is fucking Miami, Vegas, LA, any of the places that you're gonna go to. It's not. It's not cheap. No, dude. I, I was like I said, I mean, I can't can't say enough about it. I'm fucking I like I used to be like a Vegas guy. Fuck Vegas. Fuck Vegas, I'm going Ve- back to Vegas in March uh, with Paul Gentile, Central <laughs> Marketing Officer, and Jason Buggy, uh, which is why you are more than welcome to come with yeah. us. Um, and uh, I'm looking forward to it. It's college basketball season. I'm going to love it. I'll be thinking I should be in Nashville right now the whole time I'm there. Uh, by the way, oh, as we assign different roles, sure. as security, Central Marketing Officer, we've given them all out, right? Yeah. Director of ag- Agriculture. My guy, Derek. All right. Director of agriculture. Derek. Derek. If I don't fucking meet you. First off, you're from Indiana. If you're not a fucking Notre Dame fan, I'm sorry, Derek. We're going to arm wrestle. He'll let me know. He'll let me know. He texted me a picture of him on a fucking track to the We're side gonna of We're going to arm garage. wrestle, dude. You better not be a Hoosier. <laughs> Bobby Knight guy. Um, so anyways, we got a lot of stuff coming up this month, and I was teasing it. Holiday correspondence coming back next week. Yep. Jonathan Clark and Matthew Fitzmorris. Yep. Fitz, Fitz, he's been on like a low carb diet. Can barely recognizable anymore. He's wearing shit that I could wear. He looks like you. Uh, what would you call him? Slim Charles. Slim Charles. Like, no, he, no, he said Slim Charles. Oh, he said Slim Charles. Yeah. He's looking good. Um, and then we got Jump Town coming on the next week. I haven't been able we to do? tell you about this because he texted me. Um, <laughs> I'll I'll talk to you about some of it off air. But he texted me. He's like, "Can I come back on the 18th?" I'm like, "Can you come back on? Of course you can come back on whenever you want." And then we're going to have to figure out when we're going to have my Bobby for you to do bowl game previews. Right. Um, it works. And then we still have a bunch of stuff planned for the new year. 2023 is going to be. Actually, that bowl, yeah, we'll talk about Bobby for because we got, that should be live. I could, we could do it live. We could do it live on Facebook. I know how to do that shit. I forget exactly how to do it. I'll look at it. I can figure that out. No, I'm, I'm saying like. Oh, do it from like Lily Peas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's good. I can do that. Do that from Lily Peas. 
Um, we can definitely do that. Uh, Notre Dame's playing the 30th. Or if they? we want a quiet spot that day, we can go to Bellows and do it there and crush beefs. What do you want? We can do whatever we want. We can go to Nashville and fucking do it there if you want to fly us there. How do you like that? Eric Church is open in Dubai. You should get us down there, Chief. Yeah. How do you like that? Um, dude, I fucking love Eric Church, dude. I like I love Eric By Church, the way, too. If you, don't, if you don't like country, dude, let me tell you something. From a fucking hood booger like myself, I have... I, <laughs> That's not an expression I've ever heard before right now. If you are a hood booger like myself, you need to get involved with some fucking country, dude. Country's awesome. Yeah. Country's I love awesome. It. I love it. Dude, it's just fun music. It doesn't all have to be listen. I am like my brand, the stuff that I write, the stuff that I do, like, I'm like a kind of serious type of like that type of music I gravitate towards the way I write, right? right. For almost folkish Americana stuff. I love fuck. Give me a fucking song about drinking a beer. I'll, I'll listen to that all day long. How do you not love it though? I That's, do love it. No, but that. Yeah. But my Puerto Rican fucking fiance is obsessed with country. Yeah. I wake up at three o'clock in the morning because she can't sleep. Listening, she's listening to fucking Luke Bryan drinking beer. <laughs> like it, it's it's fucking good music. It's fucking great music. It took dude. me forever a day to, to listen to it, I, and I'll I'll be the first one to tell you I didn't listen to it in the nineties. I have no idea how much fucking Willie Nelson or Johnny Cash. Like I, I'm I'm getting back to it. Yeah, I know what I know now, and I do, I like it. Yeah. I fucking enjoy it. I got it. into it late too, but I'll say this Luke too. Combs, come Luke on, Combs dude. Great. Uh, last thing I had to say. Because we've been talking about this. We're like, oh, who are the other couples could we come down here with and feel like, you know, we'd want to party with them, like, right? Um, but then I was like, we had a fucking blast because we were kind of by ourselves and, like, we may get along great. So, like, we're never going to get into a fight. Right? I mean, we probably we have before, but, like, not usually. You know what I mean? Like, we're going to be fucking, we, we know it. Cool. We've been yeah. with each other so long, we know each other, right? But, like, we also like to do our own thing. So, like, we don't like to be glued to, like, each yeah, other. We're going to here, there, there, like whatever. Not each other, but just like, like she, dude, this is how cool she is. Like that night, she's like, buy a ticket to that show. I'm like, well, what are you going to do? She's like, you fucking might never come down here again. Like you're going to, but like, you don't know, you know, they're not going to be playing and you really want to see it. You should go. And like, now she obviously wanted to watch a movie and go to bed, but regardless, like it is nice sometimes to go someplace with your girl or your wife where it's like, you're just on your own schedule. Cause Maggie's like me. She's not like, she likes to do a few things, but she doesn't want to be like fucking tied to a daily fucking schedule all day of, like, what we're going to do, that we're going here, we're going to see this, we're going to see that. You know what I mean? It's like, let's just have some fucking fun. If we want to fucking sleep half the day, sleep half the fucking day. You know what I mean? Um, anyways, I had, like, I'm fucking glowing from the place. I just loved it so much. I, just I, told, I knew you would. Again, newly yeah. found newly found one-year-old friend. That's right. Um, I knew you were going to love it, and I'm glad you did. Was it a year ago now that you went? No, I was like I was there like three years ago, four oh, okay. years ago. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but it was I was saying me and you are friendship. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. newly found yeah. friend. Yeah, but I didn't know if like for some reason I thought it had been like a year and a half or something. No, like that. it was like it was like three years ago. Yeah. Um, but it was, dude. We tried to get home and we couldn't. That sucks. We dude. couldn't. That does suck when you can't get back. Well, it's it sucks even more when like the night you've already spent a bunch of money too. So it's not like a bunch you're, like, of money and then like. The room that was like part of the deal is now like two seventy five a night. Oh yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, and like you can't leave. Yeah, and what now are you it's gonna like do? another fucking thousand, another fifteen hundred bucks, Sucked. basically. You know, what and I, mean? I was sick the last. So like now I'm watching the fucking uh, what's his name, Tim Allen from fucking the Santa Claus and you know Home Improvement. He had a new show out. I watched every episode of that. It was like he was like this big Republican guy. It's hilarious. Yeah, yeah. I don't know the fucking name of it now, yeah. but. It's like standing, something standing, or all whatever. Doesn't matter. I, I watched every episode of it. Yeah. And I was just covered in blankets and fucking. I get home and we're just. My cow, I will say too, like I get, my cow was covered in in uh, saugus. Uh, like uh, it would uh, fucking sucked. You know what though? I will say this too because I am like I've, I think I've said this on the show, but I am like a creature of habit. I like to go to the same places. I do get like like vacation anxiety. Like I love to be in Melrose, Malden area. Like I love yep. to be in like you know where you're Route at. one. Give right. me Route one. Yeah. By the way. Oh, I gotta tell you this. But I felt very at home there. Me and my buddies were texting about Route One. Okay, for the people who aren't from here, Route One is the strip that goes basically from like passes Malden, goes through Saugus, which is right next to Melrose. It is. My buddy was like talking about his daughter's learning to drive. Mine is too, and he said that the driving circuit took her on ninety three, which is a major highway. 
And I'm like, oh, geez, next thing, next week must be Route 1. And he goes, if you could drive on Route 1, you could drive anywhere. And I go, Autobahn. it's fucking shocker. It is the Autobahn of, America, of, of Massachusetts. Yeah. It is shocking to me that some shitbag Saugus kid hasn't become like a NASCAR fucking champion. Yeah, you got to Because you, you, you got to be able to handle your shit to drive on Route 1. Especially like in that two-lane area. Yes. yes. It's the worst part of Massachusetts. Dude, let me tell you what I do every... Pretty much at least uh, once every, at least once a week, so I can get some at Walgreens. As I do the loop, this is totally, by the way, if you're from like Wisconsin, just hang up. You don't have to listen <laughs> to this part of the show. I do that loop where I come from my house, I go on Route 1 South, past Canes, past yeah. the New Canes, yeah. and I loop around and I have to get all the way over to the Walgreens. Why would you ever do that? Just because to- it's like kind of like a challenge. I could do it every time. No, but Dude, just go to the one in Malden. It's probably closer and quicker. I don't know, but that's where I go. I like it's kind of like a buzz. It's like a rush for me. Like I'm like, <laughs> rah, 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 rah. like I'm like cold fucking trickle. Yeah, you got you got to yeah. get right over. Oh, dude, it's it's like it's, it's like, intense. It's, like if, it's the same exit. Oh no, the exit before is where I would go, where Out Asia was. Yeah, yeah. you know, like we're fucking. Yeah, that's Moses. what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. get over there r- oh, quick, yeah. dude. Yeah, you got to move, dude. Thirteen you seconds, boogie. you got. Yeah, so I am predicting, like if you if you have a like, there's got to be a kid that's like coming off like a. Coming off a landscaping career in Saugus, yeah. who like could go out and, and drive fucking Formula One and like <laughs> yeah, murder yeah, people. Yeah, like I guarantee right. it. Some kid named Vinny from Saugus who could fucking eat an Italian sub with one hand and then dominate fucking easily the whole fucking Earnhardt easily. fucking family at the same time without even a question, dude. Um, all right, dude, that was fun. The shit. Listen. Anything else? No, December seventeenth. It's not I. It's not ours. But if you have an ugly sweater. Yep. If you have a toy for Toys for Tots, if you want to do karaoke. No, I, I will be there with fucking bells on. And, Sean, I hope you got a taste of what I can do with some Johnny Cash tonight. I might just let you have it, but, uh, yes, I can't wait to do karaoke. I, I was so cocked last time I didn't even do it. I know. Yeah. So, December 17th, if you can, modern Irish American, your friends of ours, if you're listening, uh, bring a toy for Toys for Tots. There's going to be food there. I'm already getting it catered. And not me. The, the, the club's yeah, getting the club's it catered. Getting it. And uh, bring an ugly sweater. We're getting fu- it catered because I'm a member now. So I yeah, can say fucking that. Right. We're getting fucking, fucking right. We're getting yeah, it fucking right. Yeah. We're getting it catered. We're, uh, we're going to have ourselves a good time, Ooh, man. We're going to get the tickets from uh, Keith for the uh, from Keith, from uh, Sean. Don't worry about it. Oh, Ar- yeah. Already settled. We're sitting next to Keith, by the way. Already settled. He's Tony behind Red us. Sox. Yeah. I don't know if I could boycott that game. I got to go. Can't. Um, also, this weekend, if you're around, they are having the North Shore Beefs yes. party. Five o'clock at Channel Market. Now Coastal something brewing. I Coastal they Mass. It. Coastal Mass. Coastal Mass. I, I think. Coastal Market. Maybe. I don't, I don't know. know. We're going to fuck that up. It was Channel Market. We're trying. Coastal We're trying. Something. Uh, it's in Beverly. Look at, get us a message if you want to go. It's Tool Street, dude. Just yeah. find us. I got three tickets. I got a, I got a Santa Stroll this Friday. Yeah. Uh, the, the last year... Some kid threatened my life on it. Uh, I talked about that. Yeah. Um, whatever. Come get me. I got a <laughs> fucking flying Derek from fucking. He'll throw, he'll throw a pig at your face. Um, so I got that I on Friday night. My so life Maggie's too. no, Maggie's never, never doing a double back to back because she's taking the girls to Jingle Ball on uh, Sunday. Yeah. A little Kiss 108 action. You'll get more North Shore than that. And um, <laughs> so Saturday, I plan on going there. And then I'm go. I might go to buy Lily Peas if I can for uh, for their anniversary party. And then we have one more private party maybe to stop by. Yep. Uh, so we got a full fucking full. It's the holidays, baby. You know what I mean? It is what it is. It's happy the, holidays. It's the fucking happy holidays. holidays. Not a big Christmas song guy, by the way. You're not a big Christmas. It's okay. I, I mean, I, I don't know. I have, a, I have a. Do you have a top in worst? Can we talk about this? Yeah, yeah. No, we can Let's talk do about it with those guys. That's a holiday special. We, actually, we'll bring a bunch of subjects for it. Um, so next week, for the people who like to call in, it's fucking holiday at Christmas time. So we want to hear what you like about Christmas, what you hate about All Christmas. All you Jews, best, Kwanzaa motherfuckers. That's right. Best Christmas food. By the way, I used that line when I was at, uh, I said, <laughs> I haven't got a blackjack since Christ was a Jew at uh, Encore. And this Asian guy who was sitting next to me, he's like, you know Christ was Jewish. I'm like, you know that's the joke, right? I'm like, <laughs> that's why I said it. Uh, anyways. Um, we will be there next week. Call in, give us your shit. Uh, tell us what you think of Christmas. Tell next what you week hate is going to be a it's going to be a good one. We got our guys. If you know, if you remember Clocky and Fitzy, 
Uh, they're going to be here. They talked about Halloween. It's going to be a great time. Yeah, they're our holiday correspondents, so they come in for the holidays. That's what they do. They we weren't here for guy. fucking Thanksgiving. That's true, but you know what? I think we can cover a little Thanksgiving in this, too, because we didn't really deal with Thanksgiving. So. Fair enough. Um, all right. We'll be back next week. Love By you the way, all. book your fucking trip to Nashville right now. Book <laughs> Dude, it. Dude, listen to me. Book it. Book it. All right, we'll be back. Peace.